The forsythia in our gardens is about to bloom, which tells me it's time to start treating for weeds in the landscape. Using a timing factor like the blooming of a plant to schedule our maintenance practices is part of a science called phenology. With phenology, we use biological indicators and correlate those to climactic conditions. Farmers use this a lot to predict the arrival or emergence of certain pests on their crops, but we can use it in the landscape to time the treatment of crabgrass in the turf as well as weeds in our garden beds. Now one way that we can treat crabgrass is by applying a pre-emergent pesticide. These are chemicals that uh, are active in the soil and they inhibit the germination and growth of young seedlings. Now we time the application of these uh, herbicides when the soil just below the surface is at 55 to 60 degrees. Now we can use a soil thermometer such as this to time that application or we can look at the forsythia and use that as an indicator. When we treat our turf with a pre-emergent herbicide we want to put the product down so that it is in the soil when those seeds begin to germinate. Now crabgrass seeds will germinate when our forsythia is in full bloom and those petals begin to fall. So what I look for is just the initial stages of bloom and we could see a few of our blossoms are starting to open on our forsythia. And this is a good time to go and lay out that product. It gives us time to plan and apply our pre-emergent herbicides so that they are in the soil and ready when those seeds begin to germinate. Now we don't want to put them on too early because they can break down over time. And also once we apply them, they need to be in the soil. So if we're applying them to the turf surface, we need to irrigate and water those chemicals so that they get down into the soil surface. And we can also use forsythia to time the application of pre-emergent herbicides for the weeds in our ornamental beds as well. Now it's important to remember that pre-emergent herbicides affect all seeds, not just the seeds of weeds. So if we're planning to start seeds in an area, we want to avoid using a pre-emergent. The same is true if we're planning to overseed our turf grasses, or even if we're going to be laying sod in a new area. Some of these chemicals can inhibit the root growth of the, the newly laid sod. Well, hopefully we can use some of these indicators within the landscape to get a leg up on weeds this season.